This video covers an avion. Press the on button and clear the control scheme. Select Naviop from the app there and it takes you to the home page and this little finger position here which represents the home page. There are menus down the right hand side, there are menus down the left hand side and there are menus across the bottom of the system. The first page here indicated by the hand on the left hand side uh, shows all instruments for the upper deck. Top, taking them in turn, top left is autopilot. If you've got an autopilot warning or something's come up that's saying there's no autopilot computer loaded, then it's likely that this is not being selected. That is the autopilot off, that is the autopilot on. Then all the systems, you've got the position of the slides in case you turn it on and off. You've got steaming lights on and off. Anchor lights on and off. If there are any faults with these systems, they will simply display an amber setting. To turn the windlass controller, and here you can see that the windlass is on. Turn the windlass off. Press the button, the button there, and you can see that the windlass is dead. And you also see the icon at the very front of the, uh, the front of the wheel. To turn the windlass on, select it, and you'll see the battery live being powered up at the front. Again, two options on the bottom, spread the lights and deck lights, and here you can see the, auto, the autopilot live there. There are a number of subsets here to this first page, and there's a menu running along the bottom. So this, we just covered the upper deck. To go to lower deck, simply press lower deck, and there you can see all of the light systems. So, taking them in turn, port aft cabin lights, starboard aft cabin lights, ceiling lights, port lights, forward cabin lights, and each one is displayed. You can turn them off individually, if you choose, or you can turn them all on. Again, if there's any issues with the system, they'll simply display an amber setting. In the case of low voltage, uh, an amber setting just come up, just press it on and press it off and it should clear. Lower decks, uh, this is your bilge pump and water systems. So here you can see the fresh water pump is selected, which means the taps will run and the aft uh, shower pumps and forward shower uh, bilges, sorry, so that it's the suckers and gulpers that remove the water from the shower systems. And here on the boat, you can see that they are selected as on. Underneath, you have the three main bilge pumps, which are engine room on the left, saloon in the center, and forward. They should always be selected to automatic, and that's done uh, at the, uh, in the breaker in the, in the, uh, the main control cabin. The next system down on the left hand side is the battery system. Simply press the batteries and here you have displayed the three battery banks that are on board, all showing a healthy 13, 14 volts. On the left hand side you have the domestic battery, which is a thousand, uh, there's three large uh, 250 amp power, which is nearly a thousand amp hours. The next one on the right is the engine battery, uh, and that's actually that's a double bank as well. And then the bow thrust battery, which again is another, another double bank. The next system on the right hand side is all the water and fluid levels. So by pressing that, the first one to display are the two water tanks. There's one forward and one rear. And as you can see here, the tank capacity for each is 325 litres. And they're now showing 325 litres, we just filled them. And you also have, again, another ability to turn the freshwater pump on and off if you require it. There's an amber and red bar. When the water level gets to amber, the system will be an amber one to indicate that you're running over water. And again, do the same thing for red. There are two other options for fluid levels on the bottom. Black water tanks. These are the three, three tanks in each bed. icon down is your actual fuse system indicated by this uh, this electrical symbol 
Each fuse box is, is given a name, it's Egon uh, 1, 2, 3 or 4. To understand if there's any issues, it would, if there were any issues with the fuses, it would simply flash red. Here I'm going to select Egon 1, which is a fuse box in its own right. The fuse box comes up and is displayed. Down here on the left hand side it shows you which fuses are uh, on what. So for example there's a bow thruster switch, there's ceiling ambient uh, fuses that and if there was a fuse issue, it would highlight in red which fuse is blown and what needs replaced. It's an exceptional system. Uh, when the fuse blows, you'll get a warning on it and it will take you exactly to where it is. So that in this case, Egon 1 is here and it's actually uh, in, the, in the forward cabin in the port side uh, behind, the, behind the wardrobe. The final screen on the Naviop which is the spanner and screwdriver, is just the international settings. So here you have the buzzer controls, which is the alarm system. And this system here is, in, is set for international, which is liters, or you can have uh, a US system or UK system, which is imperial. But international, that just seems to be the best way to do it. You can select language for the entire system here, and then that is about it.